There will always be so much to talk about owing to the number of critical portfolio he handles. And on this occasion, the Minister of Power, Works and Housing is giving an update on activities of the three ministries under his watch. In no particular order, he explains to the audience the reasons why mass housing has not gotten on the way three years on. There is still no empirical evidence as to what people can afford and what they will accept. There is no proven evidence. And we think that we must do this before we start to build. The house is a product, and if you don't get the product formulation, packaging, delivery right, it will fail. When it comes to power, one variable resonates with most energy consumers, estimated billing, because of the deficit in supply of prepaid meters. The federal government says it has a solution. One of the policies we have introduced to address meters is the meter asset provider. What we simply seek to do is to ease the financial body on discos who are contracted. By contract, they are the ones supposed to give you meters. They sign that contract. But we think that we can intervene by allowing other entrepreneurs to supply meters under arrangement with the discourse. According to the minister, work has resumed at the second Niger Bridge project while funds have been secured for other critical road projects. Lagos Ibadan, second Niger Bridge, Abuja Kaduna, the first three that qualified there because we finished one section of the law in Jeba. Those projects will not stop now because of funding. I don't know what new games will come, the funding problem we have overcome. Contractors are outside, they should be a go. Clarifications were sought on several other issues, answers were attempted at. However, infrastructural development is a priority area for the citizenry. How quickly those are deployed will be most gratifying. Olu Phillips, Channels Television News.